Hello! In this video, I will share how to make abacha from cassava tubers. If you requested this video a long time ago, now you can make and enjoy your own abacha wherever you are in the world. Once you can buy cassava tubers where you live, this is so easy to make. We make abacha from cassava tubers, that's yuca in Spanish. This is not the same as yam at all. For this length of abacha, I cut into three pieces. Cut according to how long you want the strands of abacha. Peel them. Cassava peels naturally. You know how you open one end of a banana or a plantain and the peel just comes off naturally. Just follow that natural peel and peel it all off. These black marks are the first signs of decay. Just cut them off. Rinse them, put in a pot and pour water to cover the pieces of cassava. Then start cooking on high heat. The cassava tubers that are available outside Nigeria cook in no time at all. And if you're not careful, it becomes too soft. That's not good as far as making abacha is concerned. So here's a trick I use to cook it to perfection. Like I said before, I cook it on high heat and once it boils, I let it boil for 5 minutes. Then I take it off the stove. And let it sit there till it cools to a comfortable temperature. That takes about 10 minutes. That gap there is a sign that it's cooked well enough for abacha. Then I take it off the water and put in a plate to cool down completely. While we're waiting for it to cool down, let me show you an important utensil you need for this. Here's the original cassava grater that is used in Nigeria. It is made from recycled tin, hence that shrimp something something you see there. The tin is cut perforated and folded to fit the palm of an adult hand. Then I found this one where I live. This is a cheese grater. You can see that it is curved like the cassava grater we use in Nigeria. This makes it possible to grate the cassava without grating your skin or fingernails in the process. It is quite safe. I stumbled on this unique grater in my local supermarket. From time to time they bring these cheap, often ridiculous, seemingly useless kitchen utensils so whenever they bring such i go to that section just to look around because you never know what you will find there as soon as i saw this i jumped up because i knew that it would make a perfect cassava grater for this video that have been in my request list for the longest time one thing to note before you even start making a bacha make sure you have intense sunshine on the day you will dry it Today we have 25 degrees centigrade and the weather forecast for tomorrow is 28 degrees and that's with clear blue skies. In Nigeria we do this during the dry season or hamatan season. When the cassava is cold, we start grating along the length of the pieces of cassava. You can see that it is very sticky. That's because of the cyanide and starch that cassava contains. If the cassava disintegrates as you grate, it means that it is overcooked. Cooking the cassava to perfect doneness is very, very important.
When done, pour a generous quantity of cool water to cover the grated cassava. Cover and leave it there overnight. First thing in the morning, you notice that the strands of abacha are no longer stuck together. Water is cyanide's greatest enemy. Right now, the abacha has a sweet and sour taste. That's the taste of the cyanide. You can taste just one piece so that you will see what I mean by a sweet and sour taste. Cyanide is poisonous, but a tiny quantity is not deadly. You will also feel that the abacha is slimy to touch. We rinse by rubbing the abacha between the palms like this. The aim is to wash till they are no longer slimy, and you will notice this when it happens. You will feel it in your palms. One thing to note, in Nigeria we have several species of abacha and these contain varying amounts of cyanide. The more the cyanide content, the longer you need to wash the abacha. The cassava tubers sold outside Nigeria do not contain as much cyanide as the ones commonly cultivated in Nigeria. Here, the South Americans even cook and eat these cassava tubers like yams, so that means less washing if you are outside Nigeria. For this one, I rubbed like this for 5 minutes, change the water, then wash for another 5 minutes, change the water for a total of 5 times. That means 25 minutes of washing. But you need to change the water every 5 minutes or something like that. At the end of the day, you will need to rely on how squeaky clean it feels in your palms. Also, when it is ready, it will no longer have the sweet and sour taste. That is why it is important that you taste it at the beginning, especially if it is your first time making this. So you will have a taste to refer to later. Yes, that tastes perfect. It's a neutral taste, neither sweet nor sour. Place in a sieve to drain. You can eat the abacha like this with roasted brown nuts, that's peanuts, cashew nuts or coconut. You can also prepare the abacha with this wet one, but that one will not be the traditional style abacha. It is called cherewere abacha, that's wait and take abacha. Please don't prepare that one for the elders because... <laughs> By now, the sun would have come out. Spread the abacha in a flat basket like this. Make the layer very thin so it will dry quickly. And you should place it in the direct heat of the sun, you know, not in the shade. If you do not have this kind of basket, you can do like me and spread it on several A4 papers. In Nigeria, we use very wide raffia baskets to spread it. Check it from time to time and ensure that they are always in direct heat of the sun. If you're lucky to have a big backyard without obstructions, then that's perfect. Place the basket in your yard and forget it till sun down. The sun has gone down now. This is what they look like at the end of the day. You do not need to pack them, but do not leave them in the open where dew will fall on them. The next day, place them in the sun again till they are bone dry. Once there is intense sun, it takes a maximum of two sessions in the sun to dry completely. So this is the finished product, the quantity I got from a decent tuber of cassava. I and my husband ate the wet one I showed in the plate earlier though. You can store this dry one in a cool dry place for years and it will remain the same. The one my mother-in-law sent to me three years ago is still there. So to make your abacha, that's the meal or the dish, 
you soak this one in water before using it. I have a video of how to prepare that. The link will be somewhere in the video and in the description box below the video. Always check the description box of all my videos because there are lots of information in there. Bye. See you soon.